Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Inkis and I'm from IGS Electronics and today we're going to be finishing up Lens i550 drive where we're going to set the drive today, run in remote control using MOP speed control which is two buttons, up and down speed control and also we'll be checking out multi-frequency setup with this unit. If you missed the last two videos for the commissioning and the 2-3 wire controls, those videos can be in the description below and any other videos and any other manuals and everything else I do believe would benefit you in any possible way will be in the description below, so let's get started. Here we are, so uh, our station is wired in, so this is what it's going to look like. Forward, reverse, speed up and a speed down, but you can again mix and match those buttons. The one thing I always keep forgetting saying in these videos, guys, don't forget, you always have still, you used to, you, you, your options, you've got five digital inputs in your disposal to choose, you, you, there's, there's, as with most, most of the time we use only three, so definitely uh, use the other ones as well for all sorts of different other uh, optional things if you wish to. So uh, let's get first to the wiring, as usual per last video, we have 24 volts coming in here, from there on it goes back powering our uh, safety uh, board down there, the safety unit down there, then distributes power to all the switches down here and at this one in here is going to digital input 1 that will be run forward, digital input 2 is going to be run reverse, digital input th uh, uh, 3 is going to be our uh, speed up and digital input 4 is going to be speed down, that's pretty much quite straight forward. So all of them are going in here respectively. So uh, as per setup, as you can see down here, you already can see in there's MOP in here, so I went on the way and already said so for setting that up, that is going to be in our frequency mode, as you can see, go all the way till you see this, uh, set that in your frequency selection, so it's MOP. From there on, we're pretty much done on that one, let's go jump straight on to group 4, where we need to assign our IOs. So, uh, let me just uh, go down first, the first one you need to make sure that, again, we, uh, you put your run in, unless you want to use a run uh, signal. Uh, to, to the digital inputs, I don't, so I just put that as a true. Uh, so yeah, and then uh, go and find your, uh, oh yeah, and start forwards, uh, not start forwards, it will be a uh, run forwards, digital input 1, run reverse, digital input 2, and then just keep going till you find your MOPs. There we go, MOP up, 13, and MOP down, uh, it's going to be 14 and a digital input 4. So that's pretty much all we really need to do. There's a couple of other functions that uh, uh, re when it comes down to MOPs, do check them out in the manual under the MOP section. I'm not going to go through them, it's just, uh, just something that a lot of people will not use. But if you uh, do check it out, if you want a bit more options for it, it's like a starting value and saved and things like that. So, uh, and uh, when it comes down to, what was I going to say? Um, Oh, the acceleration, the acceleration sensitivity on the buttons, that is actually in acceleration, the acceleration too. So that will, if you go back down in here and then go all the way to 20, uh, here we go, acceleration 22. At the moment, as you can see, it stands in five seconds. Both of them are in five seconds by default. And that's pretty much determining uh, uh, how much, uh, how fast is the speed is going to go up. So let me uh, uh, put the cover on and we'll go from here. Yeah, so the cover is on, so uh, let's start, so as you can see it says 23 and as you can see hold the button, it will go up and it will go down by clicking that one on. This is the first drive, doesn't lock out, it's very interesting, usually other drives lock out when you're trying to a, uh, uh, do that uh, thing. So as you can see, the sensitivity, it's like that. So it's, it's all right, it's more or less actually quite, quite acceptable, it pretty runs up pretty nicely. If you want that to go up faster, uh, do uh, adjust acceleration, the acceleration too, and that will uh, change the, uh, your sensitivity for those buttons. It's quite straightforward, I like it, so I'm, I'm getting quite hang over this, this drive really good. So once you get your head around it, it's all right. Well, at the very beginning, it's very confusing, and the manual, the first manual they have, oh boy. The manuals are definitely not farmers, that's that's for sure. So nevertheless, ladies and gentlemen, so the next up is multi-frequency setup. As for, per a uh, multi-frequency, the station we're going to be using, it looks, ooh, without dropping anything, it looks like that. 
and uh, we are going to be using a, a run signal on the other speed one speed two speed three but with these three switches we'll be able to achieve seven speeds and i'll talk you through i'll talk you through in a minute how that works so the power again so uh, 24 volt coming to our normally closed contact going back to our safety board down there so from there on it still power, uh, also powers up all our normally open uh, uh, switches and first as uh, digital input one it's going to be our uh, run signal run enable and then, then we're going to have a uh, digital input two uh, will be uh, first digital input three uh, second and digital input four will be a uh, respectively actually our fourth uh, speed uh, so uh, but i'm going to talk to you that there in a minute so uh, when it comes down to the actual um, uh, controls itself you can still uh, use potentiometer if you wish because as you can see in here let me just go down here when you go down to the oh, in here in uh, analog i have selected analog input one there's a lot more in here as you go by you can you can even uh, assign uh, preset uh, presets to it frequency presets so we're not going to be doing that so uh, analog input one if you want to put the potentiometer b so uh, definitely do so and that will be uh, activated as soon as you activate a run signal you're able to control your uh, potentiometer uh, the speed with the potentiometer but as soon as you put speeds on it will override the potentiometer so that's pretty much is that so and the rest in here to not in there not in there not in there and then we go to number four and uh 450 Put it on as you can see i have one all the way to seven to select all the frequencies so we don't have to mess around as you can see there's 15 frequencies you can edit in here so i'll put also so uh if you're using a four button so we're going to be using only three uh, and then it's literally as a bit combination a bit combination between the buttons will give you the speeds so uh there's a in the manual i do believe there's a graph we have how, how uh, which bit selection will give you a different speed so do check out the manuals in the description below to find that uh, uh breakdown so uh so yeah in a 450 uh all the bits in here zero one onwards for 15 those are going to be all your basic frequencies and in uh Let's go. Oh, here we go. So in in uh, digital inputs. So uh, if you're going down here, you'll be you know this one, not this one. There we go. So uh, set points. So you can set set point bit bit to zero, bit one, bit two, and bit three, and uh, yeah, bit three, four bits, basically four switches you can assign to it to get a uh, four speed. Obviously, I only used a three bits, so uh, it's gonna be digital input two. Digital input three and digital input four, and if I if you want you can put in digital input five. You can put a, a, another another cable and get yourself a another way of another bit to do a selection of the speeds. And I will demonstrate to do you that in a minute how that works. So let me put the cover on and I shall show you. Here we are. So first thing before we start, as you can see right in here on the bottom. Let me just zoom in in, in your screen a little bit. See what happens to the screen when I try to flip the switch. It says PR one. So that'll be my preset speed one if I put into run mode like that. So that's 20. So uh, by uh, checking that out, there's PR3, PR2, and sort of give, gives you an indication of what you are gonna be getting. So, and now how that looks in reality on the switches in here. So as you can see, bit selection, bit one, and a bit zero is gonna be my PR1. Uh, uh, bit uh, two now bit one is going to be my uh, PR2 and as you can see in here if I click that one on that's jump straight to PR4 because that bit is is, is different because of these two is going to give PR3 so let's get to it so uh, put a speed on I put in a run mode so here we go so that's 20 Hertz so if I turn that off that goes to 40 and that will be 10 so but look what happens in there. So you do this and then you do these two together and that gives me my third, actually my third speed. Hopefully you're getting the gist. It's all about the bit selection and they all the drives pretty much have the same principle how they work. And there we go. This bit selection is, uh, if we turn it off, these all three bits on will actually give us a preset seven. I'm sure you can see it in there. So hopefully you are getting the juice. It's the mix of the buttons that selects and determines what speed it is going to be. And depending on uh, how you have written up your speeds in a 200 and a 450 parameter. 
So that, ladies and gentlemen, will cover the lens i550. We are going to be covering i510 as well and other lens drives in the near future. So uh, definitely, definitely stick around. And if you are a lens guy, we've got a lot coming up. So yes, ladies and gentlemen, if you like the video, please smash that like. Do subscribe if you like what we were, if you like and want to support us and uh, if you like what you be doing in here. And uh, yeah, comment below. Any questions, any... Um, Anything you want to ask, do ask them in the comment section below and I'll answer them as soon and as accurate as I can. Other than that, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.